Daniela definitely the taller fighter here. Looking confident, looking ready as she's coming down to the cage. As we talked about, both undefeated. Yeah, Danielle Thomason. She considers herself a brawler. She's 5'6", so she's got the height advantage. Also, 2-0-1, so she has a draw, but still undefeated. Um, weighted at 126.6. Like you said, War Eagles, which we know is a good gym. Two good gyms going at it. Two good female fighters going at it. Should be fireworks. We just don't know if it'll be 30 seconds or three-round war. <laughs> so that's what we're waiting to see. Definitely in for the strikes clinic. And like I said, coming from War Eagle myself, I've definitely got to see her work around and stuff like that. Yeah. It's an interesting fight. It's, right. it's, it's fireworks. It's what we're here for. It's a main event fight. Yeah. So I, I do got to say, one of Joy's corners is uh, my podcast co-host for the right lane, Danny Wright. There we go. <laughs> I'm sure she'll hear him. He's allowed. He's allowed. And then Ray Norris is our head coach, who we I think we talked about before. You know, uh, him and Johan Splager, same lineage. So we'll under Steve Berger, ex UFC fighter. Okay. So always producing good fighters. Daniela, she's in the locked in zone, brought yes, to you by Locksmith Security, getting your fighters ready for every round. Both ladies have a lot of energy. We'll see what happens here. Here we Hopefully go. Hopefully, we see some controlled chaos. Joy is ready to go. <laughs> it's like I said, it's going to be a Daniel. cannonball. Yeah. <laughs> Joy Putting on for the girls. Yeah. Thomas, the Thomason has to know it's coming. I mean, the only tape you have is two fights of like 30. <laughs> you got to know it's coming. So. All right. I yeah. take it to the top. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds for the vacant Cage of Honor Women's Amateur Flyweight Championship. Brought to you tonight by Holloway Carpet and Marco's Pizza, sponsoring tonight's VIP Lounge. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first fighting out of the Cape Electrical Blue Corner. This freestyle fighter stands 5'4", weighed in 125.2 pounds. She holds an amateur record, two wins, zero defeats. With one win coming by way of knockout and one by way of submission. Representing Wise Warriors MMA, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Joy Conavore Connolly. Her opponent across the cage of honor, fighting out of the Cape Electrical Red Corner, is a brawler standing five foot six, weighed in 126.6 pounds. She holds an amateur record, two wins, zero defeats, with both of those wins coming by way of submission and one draw. Representing War Eagle Fight Team and fighting out of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, Danielle, the wife beater, Thomason. Your referee, Tim Francis. We went over all the rules in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Touch them up. Go back to your corner. Well, I don't think Joy's a wife. <laughs> I'm just going to try to do it to her. Joy has been talking yeah. this whole time. She is fired up for yeah. this. That's Look, she's already... See? That's, <laughs> she's going to shoot out. Here we go. And fight's on. Oh, Jay, oh one nice right go. hand, Daniela. Nice leg kick. Yeah, it looks like Thomason's definitely prepared for it. Nice, yeah. Thomason's looking a little bit more technical at the gates here. Well, she's already done something I haven't seen. Uh, Joy's backpedaling, and I've yet to see that. Danielle's big too, though. Yeah, she and she's she, she's stalking her down. She's very confident. You can tell. Wow. Danielle using those jabs and the straights to kind of keep control of this game and keep her distance. Very good work Very from good her. Work, yeah, absolutely. Looks like that body kick might have stung just a tiny bit, though. Keep that in mind, Joy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you said, hey, you don't know how to pace until they force you to pace, and absolutely. it looks like she's making her pace mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, I've never seen Joy this timid. We can already see a gnarly mark on the back of Joy's leg, though. That, that mm -hmm. early leg kick definitely woke her up. Thompson's looking really good. Oh, that big off. right hand from Joy. Oh, it, Thompson's eyes shutting. Her left eye is injured. Boom, boom. Yeah. Joy trying to More take More big shots from yep. Joy. Good leg kick. Now, now that Joy slowed down, her hands are actually looking a lot better than the start of the fight. 
seems to have found her rhythm, found her range. Yep. Well, and this is what I wanted to see. Like I told you, she's never really been forced to have to, you know, she usually comes out and just goes balls to the wall and then ends up the other person breaks. Joy's eyes definitely already swelling. Well, not Joy. Uh, Daniela's Thompson, eyes yeah. already swelling up. Left eye, yeah. yeah. Joy's trying to take advantage of that. But Thomason is being it. calm, though, even though she's hurt. And yet, to your point, Wiki, yeah, she's trying to take advantage of that. There it is, that right. She's, she's looking trying to go to, for that left eye again. Yeah, you throw a lot more rights from the left eye. <laughs> oh, nice right. You're good, you're good. You're good. But again, Thomason staying very composed. Kept her head moving through all that. Look at Joy's leg, there's a nice footprint on it. Her left leg, it's a perfect toe print behind her knee. Got a little one on the inside too there. There's the leg kick. Up. Nice right hand, a little more power right behind that. Might yeah. be a button shot. Oh, nice front kick by Thompson. Joy needs to set that kick up a little more though. Oh, going for a takedown. There we go. Hey. Hey. Takedown. Yeah. Nice way to get to the double. Thompson trying to pop right back up. Realized she couldn't. Goes into a defensive position. Working well here. Yeah, it's got that arm tied up. I don't think she's going to pass over that nope. leg in time. She just looked to get some damage yeah. down. So this is very interesting. I Great think, work. I, I, think Tom, I think Thompson looked better at striking. Number two, but did that take three. down? For the vacant round. Cage of Honor women's oh, hand. That's a great question. question. Yeah. Brought to you once uh, again by Holloway Carpet and Marco's the Pizza for sponsoring tonight's to VIP lounge. Take took the round. Yeah. Shout out to all those there. Who, there. who purchased VIP Enjoy. tickets for tonight's event. And, and that's all what, our you know, sponsors who are hanging out in the VIP the lounge brought to you by Marco's Pizza. Go for a shot. We appreciate your support Sometimes of Cage of Honor 90. The only one that did anything on the ground, a lot of judges were like, well, okay. There you go. Yeah, give you that point there. And there's been arguments by kickboxers and strikers, and I don't disagree with them, but sometimes the takedown gets pointed too much. Mm. You know, you could hit some nice combinations, and also you get taken down and lose the round. And lose the round, yeah. yeah. So how do you judge that, yeah. right? It depends on the judges. Yeah. Like you said you got Danny Wright in the corner over there firing her up. Yep. And Ray. She's looking at Danny's. Danny's a good hype man for sure. <laughs> Thomason over there bouncing around. She's yep. still got wind. I love to see that. Joe is still smiling. Whoa. And uh, Thomason, you got to wonder, she can't have her head coach in her corner, so does that affect her? Because D-Ray Ivey is her head coach, and he, he, you know, he can't corner, so Whew. that could cause some issues for her as well. I'll tell you, she does have some fire behind her. That head, eye so. is swelling up pretty bad. Oh, yeah. yeah she clicked Thomas's very well. Left eyes. Yeah. Looking a little puffy. Looks like at least she's able to open it, though. She couldn't open it towards the end of the first round. And Joy, like Ricky said, exploited that. We haven't yeah. seen Joy go back to that body kick yet. Oh, nice takedown on the other end. <laughs> we got ourselves a fight, Jen. That was smooth. That was smooth. Wow. She looked like she was waiting for Joy's overhand right. This is a good opportunity for Neon Belly when she's got her against the cage like this. There it and is. Right on cue. Nope, George's gonna try to rotate off of it. Thompson trying to slide that knee across. Careful with the foot in the cage there. Yeah, she's gonna try to cage walk to get a roll. If she waits for Thompson to put her knee on belly, that would be her best shot. But she also has to be careful because she messes up, then Thompson's gonna get mount. Somebody's gotta work here. Yeah, it's hard to stand there though, because Thompson had such a dominant position. She just decides to pass in the half guard. Some people Seems prefer good that. work in half. Yeah, so some people prefer that. You can hold them down. Good body shots there by Danielle Thomason. Mm -hmm. Never been a fan of half guard. I don't like getting my leg trapped just like that. Yeah, that just kind of depends. If you want to do ground and pound, it's a good position. Um, leg locks sometimes can make it a good position as well. But yeah, a lot of it's for control. A lot of wrestlers like to use it. Right now, controls all Thomason. Mm -hmm. I liked it for like leg locks myself, but yeah, I kind of agree. I prefer to be in either mount or side control myself. She's trying to get the leg out now so she can further that pass. Oh, it looks like the skirt's hung up too. Someone's caught on yeah. somebody's hand. Now she's nice. We call that, so I have a coach who used to call that badger milk. When you push the chest in their face so they can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> His nickname was the Honey Badgers. So. <laughs> uh, 
And she's still looking on a way to pass here. She's trying to get her striking to open Joy up, but Joy's adamant in her position. She's not letting that leg go. Yeah, this has been all Danielle, this one. Now the leg's out. Yep. She has a chance to pass. She's going to go to side, though. She doesn't have much time left, though. I think she's trying to make up for that first round, mm -hmm. you know? Well, when we talked about the first round, depending on the judges, could go either way. This one's definitely Thomason's round. Definitely Thomason's round. So we'll have to see how Joy's corner adjusts to it. If I'm Thompson's corner, I'm going to tell her to keep, keep the course. Absolutely. Because obviously this round was dominant. We wow. go now to the Great third round for both and of them. final round. So if I'm Joy's corner, I'm going to tell her, hey, Women's she's amateur flyweight right. championship. You right. you got to set that up. Brought and if to you I'm once Thompson's again corner, by I'm Holloway Carpenter and, hey, and Marco's Pizza. Because right, yeah. it, it was flawless. That second round was pretty flawless. Yeah, great take down there. Let's see you on the replay. Just another friendly reminder, as soon as we're completed with tonight's event, we're all headed to the library well, for the official after party at Cage of Honor 90. But still a good one. Come meet and greet with the fighters. <laughs> tonight's event. I like event, to see people working staff, like that. It's not the funnest for the fans. By the ring announcer is shot. It's all going down at the technical. library as soon as we're done. Yeah. Ground and pound is always uh, fun to me. I know. I always brag the lady fights. They, they always, there's something about them. They have this edge, this attitude. They're always fun. I haven't seen many boring ones. Tim Francis jumping on him, telling him yep. time's up, time to throw hands. Getting those corner out. You guys waiting for the doors to lock. We got one more. That was State's fault. He's taking a while getting out. <laughs> and the pin's closed. There we go. It's going to be a good round for the ladies yeah. here. Oh, oh, that was telegraphed. That was, don't yeah. expose your game plan. Nope, that was telegraphed. One, two, one, two. Look at that. Look at that left eye, though, of Thomason. Yep. Got a mouse on it. That was a and she's good fought, left She's hand. fought through it because that was midway through the first that happened. Definitely tough. You can see Joy targeting it, even with the jabs. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. That was a good takedown, but I think I think that knee kind of hurt the, the sure rib cage, too. <laughs> yeah, there was like I a pause for a second before she climbed up her. <laughs> she's like, ow. I oh, big shots. Big yeah, shots big in shots. half guard there. Yeah, it looks like Tom, Thomason likes that half staying in that half guard for control. She could do herself a favor and make this cage her friend here, but... So what Joy needs to do here is she needs to kind of turn towards her and push her up to try to get her guard back. Yeah, absolutely. But it's hard when, I mean, Thomason's going hip down. That makes it a lot harder. Look at the head against the cage, too. Mm -hmm. Can't quite square yourself away. Can't no. breathe right. Big pressure. She's constantly threatening to step over as well. We got a key lock in the process. Oh, no, she's going to use it for Ooh, strike. Nice rise from Danielle yeah. Thomas in here. Big damage. You can hear those. Out. Yeah, that was smart. She locked up that key lock. Tim's going to get a mouth guard back in there. Explode. You got to explode. You got to explode up out of here. Get up out of this spot. You don't want to be here. So hard when your head's against the cage to Absolutely. just explode and get away. She needs to rotate her body. And yeah. in the process of doing so, you can't let Thomas in get no. better position with the it. cage. Yeah. And see, Joy's pulling away due to that shoulder pressure. And that's the problem. So Joy needs to turn towards it, but it's hard to do when you got a shoulder in your throat. There's the posture. Oh, there we go. Thompson's There's going to look posture. for the ending. Oh. Joy Conley turns it, it back. Up. Oh, Danielle Thompson comes Danielle out Thompson of that. Does it. Wow. And you're new 125 champion. Look at that. Happy as can be deserves yes, it. Is. She put yep. on an absolute striking Absolutely clinic, striking I feel. Clinic. But Joy definitely found her feet after yeah. the first couple minutes. And I think she came out and put on a good performance. But Absolutely. Both these ladies needed this. Both of them. Even though Joy lost, she got a lot of experience in there. She finally had a, almost Ooh. a full fight. And she got put in position she hadn't been in before. She's got yeah. stuff to work on. And Thomason, Thomason was hurt in that first oh. round. And she came back. And had, well, had a champion mentality, and she's the new champion. Very resilient. She just Very showed resilient. a lot of resilience. Um, I mean, she had a bloody nose, a banged up left eye early. Jacquees um, Williams, those please report to the locker those, room. Right. Jacquees Williams, stay please report to the locker room she's as soon as possible. She's consistent. Yeah. She's feeling it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't blow it. Don't, Don't blow, blow it. it. <laughs> she found out what works for her. Yeah. And, I mean, those takedowns came in yeah. so clutch. And, le and let's talk about her timeliness with those takedowns, too. Their timeliness with them, they were smooth. Yeah. Um, I mean, she took a little knee there in that last takedown, but she finished it. You but know? she timed the kick. She was just, yeah, just slightly behind on the kick. But like you said, she was looking for a power shot to make her move, and she did it. She did it, yeah. 
And all, you know, if you get hurt with that, it's fine because you're on top. You can take yeah. a second, get your breath back, yeah. and then climb up like she did. Absolutely. So. Very good adjustments in between rounds. Very good. That was a great fight. Great fight. So Daniela Thomason, the new Is it Daniela? I, th I think it's Daniela. I know. We're like, I, we call her Daniela and Danielle. I'll find out for sure later so we don't make the mistake again. Maybe Mike Kendall can give us the official words and we'll know that. That's then. true, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Tim Francis called to stop this fight. One minute, 53 seconds in the third and final round, declaring a winner by TKO and new Cage of Honor Amateur Flyweight Champion, Danielle the White Beater Thomason. Congratulations, I'm here with your new amateur flyweight champion, Danielle Thomason. Congratulations. You both came in here undefeated 2-0, but as they say, so-and-so had to go, and it wasn't yours tonight. Congratulations on grabbing this belt up here tonight. How does it feel to hold that championship belt on your shoulder? I can't even explain how good it feels, and I don't have enough time on this mic to explain it to everybody. I just want to say, when I took this fight, Every time I would tell somebody I'm fighting tonight, they would just look shocked. They couldn't believe that they were gonna get to witness a female fight in this little town of Cape Dorado. And I started thinking, most of these people have probably never even seen a female fight. And I know the stereotype against women that we're not as entertaining and we're not as good as men, but look what I just did. I just beat this girl. <laughs> I just won, I just won this belt in a pink skirt with pink fingernails. We're just as good as the men, all right? Congratulations, and tell you what, I've done hundreds and hundreds of MMA bouts throughout the years, and women really, really do bring it. Women's fights are never, ever boring to me, and a lot of times, the women bring it way better than the men do, is that right? It's damn right. Well, congratulations, it, it's gotta feel great to be the champion, it takes a lot. To, uh, to achieve this with your coaches, your fans, your family, and your support groups. Uh, give us your, uh, any thanks that you'd like to say out here tonight. I just want to give a special shout out to my coaches, Cody Sell Kellison and D-Ray Ivey. They're the most amazing coaches in the world. I would be nothing without them. Can we please give them a loud round of applause? Because they're amazing. Woo! And I want to see all the beautiful Barbie bitches at the library. Okay. That's it. The, the champion says, we'll see you at the library. Cape Girardeau, Missouri, put your hands together for Danielle, the wife beater, Thompson.